for our graystone building gesso a giant size post cereal box then get out your downloads you're going to want to cut the bottom so that it fits underneath and lines up at the bottom of the cereal box line it up in rows with the upper windows and then you're going to tape that together hinge it in place and transfer it with your graphite paper and this is the footprint this is so you know where all of your windows and doors are going to go the other piece is going to be for on top and you'll transfer that later just move your graphite paper you're going to transfer all of these and not really specific this was inspired by a new yorker illustration and we just want to get sort of kind of illustrative wobbly lines so with an exacto knife you're going to cut out some of the windows there's seven that we prepared and then on a separate sheet of construction cardboard any box will work you're going to cut out your windows and your horizontal pieces i'm using a hot glue gun to glue them into place and then we're going to paint the whole thing with gray acrylic paint i mixed up quite a bit of it cover the whole box with it then you're going to, with watered-down acrylic paint, paint in the illustrations that are in, available in your download. Any way will work. This is best on lightweight printer paper. Cut them out. Now, this is very important. You're going to tape them in place, but you need to make sure your tape stays on your white border so that when you backlight it, it doesn't interfere. And then you're just going to use both of your hands and kind of push that into place. Do that for all of them. And then I used gray paint in the recessed areas and white paint in the protruding areas to get this graystone texture. I outlined everything with an acrylic paint marker and acrylic paint markers are really good because you can paint over them with acrylic paint if you so choose. And this was to get that illustrative New Yorker illustration style look. And there's no wrong way to do it. I just cut my major lines. I wanted to paint the um, door so it looked like a heavy oak Chicago door. And then for our snow, it's white acrylic paint and baking soda. And you just kind of keep mixing this till it's the desired consistency. And I'm using a cheese knife, so you don't need a palette knife. So I wanted to show you that. And that's how the snow goes on.